Have you ever looked up in the sky at sunset and seen lots of bats flying silently across the sky? These large bats are called flying foxes. Although we see lots of bats in the suburbs, many types are endangered. Let's learn how to protect them. Living with Aussie wildlife, flying foxes. There are over 90 species of bats in Australia. The most common are called flying foxes. They're not really foxes. They're called that because their face and fur looks like a fox. Flying foxes are Australia's largest bat. Flying foxes are mainly found on the east and north coasts of Australia. Flying foxes are nocturnal. This means they sleep during the day and are active at night. They hang upside down and roost in trees in groups. These groups of bats are called camps. Some Australian trees need flying foxes to pollinate them. This is how new seeds and then new trees can grow. We need flying foxes to keep the Australian bush healthy. Flying foxes travel far at night to find trees with flowers they can eat. When trees in the bush are cut down, they will sometimes visit flowering trees in backyards at night, but they will go back home to sleep at their camp during the day. Some people put mesh over the trees to stop them eating fruit. Flying foxes and other wildlife can get caught in this netting and get injured. If you use nets on your trees, use small, fine mesh that is safe for wildlife. If you find an injured bat, it is important to keep your distance and do not touch it or try to contain it. Flying foxes and microbats can carry a virus that is dangerous to humans. Very few bats carry the virus, but it's best not to take the risk. Call a wildlife rescuer to come and help. Quiz time. Flying foxes are very important people, poodles or pollinators. Flying foxes are very important pollinators. Flying foxes are shy. They'll stay away from people. We love our Australian bats as they can help the Aussie bush grow.